Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. How can I learn English? I'm a beginner. Help! Let's talk about it. Are you a beginner at English? Wonderful! Do you know someone who would like to begin learning English? Awesome! Usually my English lessons are for intermediate English learners, but today we're going to slow things down and talk about some essentials. First, who is a beginner? Did you learn English in elementary school and you want to relearn? Congratulations, you're a beginner! Are you starting to learn English now? Congratulations, you are a beginner! Being a beginner is great because you can see fast progress. One day you knew nothing about English and the next day you know something! Wonderful! It's progress! La donna! Oh! Hi, Theo! What are you doing? To say un ragazzo! I'm learning Italian, Theo! Thanks to the sponsor of today's lesson, Duolingo, I'm starting to learn Italian. My great-grandmother, Antoinette Vanolfi, so Italian, <laughs> and my great-grandfather came from the south of Italy. So it's my job to learn Italian, right? Even though I'm really busy with my family and my job, I can find five to ten minutes to study a quick, fun lesson on the app. But really, it doesn't feel like studying because you get points and rewards, which makes learning a language feel like a game. Because the app is completely free, anyone around the world can use it. I also have a special giveaway to 10 lucky subscribers on my channel, but you'll have to wait until the end of the video to find out. Let's talk about my top 5 tips for beginners in English. My first tip is Number one, learn vocabulary. Look around your house and put notes on items. You can write just one word, or a simple sentence, or a more complex sentence. When you use the microwave, read the word and sentence out loud. You will remember the word microwave, the sentence structure this is, and the verb to heat up. Go crazy and put notes everywhere! Let's go to tip number two. Number two, improve listening. Watch simple English videos, like this lesson, and listen to simple English songs. Don't be worried about using English subtitles or reading English lyrics to the songs. You're a beginner, so it's okay to use this extra help. Subtitles and lyrics can help you a lot. Make sure that you understand at least 70%. If you watch a five-minute video and you are completely lost, stop. It's okay. Find something easier. When you understand the ideas but not every single word, this is great. That means you're on the right path. A good way to improve your listening is with simple songs. What kind of music do you like? The Beatles? Queen? Taylor Swift? Whatever you like, choose one song Look up the lyrics and listen to the song again and again with the lyrics. You can sing too! Congratulations! You are improving your listening skills right now with this video. Alright, let's go to tip number three. Tip number three is practice pronunciation. If you know a lot of English vocabulary but other people can't understand you easily when you speak, that's a sad situation, so don't forget to practice your pronunciation. In tip number two, improve listening, I said you should watch simple English videos and listen to simple English songs. Well, you can use these too to practice your pronunciation. Listen to real English and repeat directly after it. It's important to hear your own voice using English. Every time you see an English sentence, say it out loud. This is a microwave. Every time you hear an English sentence, say it out loud. We are the champions, my friends, and we'll keep on fighting till the end. <laughs> when you practice pronunciation, you're becoming more and more confident when you speak. I used to go to work every day. I used to go to work every day. I used to go to work every day. Are you ready to practice pronunciation and speak out loud? 
All right, let's do it during tip number four. My tip number four for beginners learning English is to grow your grammar skills. This is the biggest mistake that a lot of English learners make. They study only grammar. Don't study tons and tons of grammar books. You will feel tired, frustrated, and annoyed. Not good. I recommend studying basic sentence structure and basic verb conjugations. What is basic sentence structure? Subject, verb, object. Vanessa is a teacher. Can you say that with me? Vanessa is a teacher. Great work. You just practiced your pronunciation. Let's go on to some simple verb tenses. I recommend focusing on the simple past, the present continuous, and the simple future. Let's take a look at some sentences and I challenge you to speak out loud. Imitate my voice and say these sentences directly after me. Are you ready? I watched this lesson. It's your turn. Say it out loud. Great work. This is the simple past because it uses ED at the end. I am watching this lesson. Your turn, say it out loud. Great. This is the present continuous. It's happening right now. I'm going to watch this lesson. Say it out loud, go ahead. Great. This is the future. I used going to and not will because going to is more common in daily conversation. Let's look at some more examples. I learned English. Go ahead, say it out loud. Excellent. This is the simple past because it uses ed at the end. I am learning English. Say it out loud, go ahead. Excellent. This is the present continuous. It's happening right now. You are learning English. I am going to learn English. Say it out loud. Excellent. This is the future. It's something that is going to happen in the future. I ate breakfast. Say it out loud. Go ahead. Excellent work. This is the simple past, but do you see ed? No, nope. this is an irregular past tense verb. There are a lot of them in English. I am eating breakfast. Now it's your turn. Go ahead. Great. This is the present continuous. It's happening right now. I'm going to eat breakfast. Say it out loud. Go ahead. Excellent work. This is the future. And you're also using a contraction. I am becomes I'm. So great work imitating, practicing your pronunciation, and also growing your simple grammar skills. Are you ready to learn vocabulary, improve your listening, practice your pronunciation, and grow your grammar skills at the same time? Okay, let's go to tip number five. My fifth tip for beginners learning English is to use Duolingo. Duolingo is the world's number one language learning app. It is perfect for beginners and it's completely free. You can do all of the four skills I just talked about. Here I am learning Italian, learning vocabulary, practicing pronunciation, improving listening, growing my grammar skills. Knowing English can give you so many benefits in life, a better job, easier communication with other people, and simply opening your mind to another language. On YouTube, I share these lessons with you every week, 100% for free, and I love that Duolingo shares the same mission, make education free and accessible to everyone. I have only just started to learn Italian, so I'm a beginner just like you, but I know that if I continue the daily quick lessons, my skills will grow every day. This is my challenge for you. Maintain a positive attitude and a lot of determination and your English skills will continue to improve lesson by lesson. Because my subscribers are the best, I want to offer 10 lucky subscribers, maybe you, a free one-year subscription to Duolingo Plus, 
which is their ad-free platform, and you can also download the lessons for offline use. Of course, you can use the regular version of Duolingo for free forever, which is awesome, but if you would like to get the ad-free version, they are offering it to 10 of my lucky subscribers. To win a year free subscription to Duolingo Plus, all you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, download the Duolingo app with the link in the description box. And number three is I want to know why do you want to learn English? I love learning more about my subscribers, learning more about you. Tell me in the comments, why do you want to learn English? In a couple days, I will announce the winners in the community tab of my channel. Before we go, I want to tell you something. You can do it. I know learning English is a big task, but it is rewarding and you're not alone. There are over 2 billion people who use English around the world. So welcome to the family, the very, very big family. Thanks so much for learning English with me and I'll see you again next Friday for a new lesson here on my YouTube channel. Bye. Did you enjoy this free lesson? The next step is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to write a comment to tell me why do you want to learn English? I can't wait to read what you have to say. Keep up the good work with English. Bye.